Uh, one of the main suspects in a human trafficking ring will likely remain in jail until his trial. Now. It stems from the victory and arrest back in January. Local force Rod Maloney is live on the city's west side with the very latest on this story. Rod? Yes, this is the victory and you wouldn't recognize it because check this out. Padlocks here. They got the fence up. Look behind me here. That orange paper says the building's closed. The sign up top buffed off so you can't even see the victory in here. And in fact, the man police say was running the criminal operation did so right up there where that mattress is out of room 200. 51-year-old Shelby Lewis Avery of Detroit went by the nickname Q, says the FBI. He left the victory in early on January 12th, like 20 minutes before a couple of hundred federal officers raided the place. Here they found 20 women working as prostitutes, drugged and living in squalor, and paid in heroin and crack cocaine. Shelby, the feds say, would sell the drugs from his room and had at least eight women working for him directly and allegedly oversaw the operation on the ground for a guy known as Tone, whom police are still looking to fine tonight. The complaint against Q says the operation ran unfettered for months, but one of the women working here ended up getting confronted by police, panicked and swallowed the heroin she held for tone. The cops took her to the emergency room and that's where she began to talk. Her information led to extended surveillance that led to the January raid and three arrests. Avery is charged with sex trafficking, conspiracy to defraud the United States, running a criminal enterprise, drug possession and distribution, selling drugs resulting in death or serious injury, wire fraud, and money laundering. A fugitive task force team picked up Shelby on Friday. He spent the weekend in jail and appeared at a detention hearing today where he agreed to stay in jail at least until his preliminary exam, but an indictment is expected in the next few days. Now you take a look at the hotel here. There are actually 42 rooms here, but we're told by police that only two of the rooms were actually used for the regular hotel purposes. The rest were part of that criminal enterprise. Reporting live in Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4.